Hey there. Um, just wanting to give you another practice, about 30 minutes as well. Just get your body again like readapted to moving and um, shifting into different shapes, shifting into different experiences that your body's going to feel and go through in a whole new way. So here I go. I uh, see I wore another shirt that had words and it says the best, the best things in life uh, make you healthy. So the best things in life make you healthy. And I know that yoga makes me healthy. And I know that yoga makes you healthy. So here we go. And again, we're going to see just what shows up. And today we're going to start on our back in a um, happy baby, but a variation of happy baby that's like child's pose. So knees towards your armpits and you know, your feet kind of out wide and apart. So let's start on your back. And we'll come to standing in this one. Um, I'm in my house today in the hallway, and you may hear some pups in the background. But actually, you let your feet come closer together, your knees out, you know, past your outer ribs. You shouldn't let your hands rest. Um, just right below your kneecaps. Let your feet just not be flexed or pointed, just let them be as they are. And get a sense of the earth beneath you, like the solid support that's holding you up. Your bones be heavy, the back of your head, shoulder blade area, low back to pelvis, just heavy towards the earth. And from your natural breath, begin to move your breath in and out through your nose. Uh, cultivating you Jai breath, you know, as we know, it stands for victory. And where do you need to have a victory in your body, in your practice, in your life, in your heart or your mind today? Draw your knees in towards your chest, your inner knees hug in, your feet come together, flex your feet, pull your knees in firmly. Extend your legs straight up to the ceiling. Push up and out through your heels, and then bend your knees once more. Inhale, straighten your legs up and push up through your heels. And exhale, bend your knees to your chest and hug in. Extend your left leg long. Keep a hold of your right knee. You'll carry it over into a supine twist. So I like to pick up my hips and move them over, then re-extend the bottom leg. Left hand helps you and extend out through your right arm. And simply breathe. Maybe you get a few pops, you feel some length, you feel some tightness, you feel some openness. Be aware of what you actually do feel. Be okay with what you do feel. With an inhale, unwind on to your back. And draw both knees in towards your body. Inhale, both legs up above you. Push out through your heels. And exhale, bend your knees in. Keep your left leg in. Extend your right leg long. And adjust your left leg as needed. It may not need to be bent as deep. Uh, scoot your seat and your hips over to the left for supine twist. Extend out through your left arm. Just breathe into what you sense on this side of your body. Always knowing that we have two sides and our job is just to create more balance. There's always going to be imperfection. There's always going to be imbalances. It's seeking a more aligned way of being. With an inhale, come onto your back and hug both of your knees into your chest. And then rock side to side on your back hips where your kidneys are, a little padding at your hips. And then rock front to back. Start little tiny rocks, like just on your spine, and then shoulder blades and hips. And then it's back of head and butt. Just a couple playful rocks. One or two more. You're going to come to your hands and your knees for a four-post position. So 
hands and knees, four pose. Fingers wide, belly deep and up and in. Knees right underneath your inner hips. Inhale, drop your belly down, cow. Exhale, round your spine, look at your thighs, cat. Inhale to cow. And exhale, round for cat. One more cow. And one more cat. And come to neutral. We'll thread the puppy. Extend your right arm up and thread it all the way over to the left. You'll lay the right side of your head down. Take your left hand a little bit farther forward to the top of your mat. Fingertips on the floor, left elbow up to the ceiling or sky. So you want to bring a pretty nice amount of pressure in your upper right arm. So you're stretching through your right side and your right shoulder areas. Take two more breaths in, two more victorious breaths out. Connect with breath with an inhale, come to your hands and your knees for four post. And stay and linger through your exhale. And thread the puppy, left arm lifts. Thread it all the way over to the right, the side of your head down the left side. Right hand crawls a little bit farther forward, right elbow up to the sky, the heavens, the ceiling. And you're bringing that little bit of extra pressure in your upper left arm to open up the shoulder area, shoulder blade, left waist area. One more big deep breath. And with an inhale, come up to your hands and your knees for four pose. Exhale, simply stay. Walk your hands towards your knees and you lift your chest all the way up. You're good, hazy. And extend your legs all the way forward. So can I not interrupt you or what? Um, I'm teaching a class for Lori. Do you have a question? No, I just, I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom and back and forth. Yeah, you're fine. It's all good. Reach all the way up mountain. Sun A, fold forward over your legs. Halfway lift, fingertips plant beside your knees. And fold right back down. So it's a partial sun A to begin. Butt bones press, reach up. Fold forward over your legs, breathe out. Halfway lift, fingertips press and lift. Hands beside your hips, Dandasana. Take a full breath in. Hands flat by your shins, down dog, push your seat back. Look at your toes, breathe in. Make sure your toes are flared, your feet are flexed out, breath. Butt bones root down, reach up, belly is in mountain. In your body today, exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, fingertips press, chest lifts. Dandasana, hands beside your hips, long from seat to head. Take a full breath in. And hands flat beside your outer shins, down dog in your chest. Take a breath in. Push through your feet like they're touching the mat. Empty your air. Belly and reach all the way up mountain. Fold forward, breathe out. Just one more of these. Fingertips plant halfway in your spine. Glide shoulder blades back. Hands plant beside your hips, Dandasana. Take a breath. Down dog, fingers wide beside your shins, empty your air. Take a full breath in. Drag your hands back towards your hips. Reach all the way up mountain. Prayer hands to your heart. 
Reach up, mountain. And once more, prayer hands to your heart. We'll go warrior two. Extend your left leg out. Your right leg will stay long in front of you. And extend all the way through the length of your arms. And just like do a little shimmy on your butt bones. Equal weight in your seat. Reverse where your left hand plants right or reaches up and back. So again, you stay firm through both butt bones. You really anchor through your right butt bone. You push out through the center of your right heel as your toes flare wide open. Warrior two. To extended side angle, right elbow to your thigh, your knee or your left arm up. I like to lay my the back of my hand on the mat, palm up. And I want you to pull your shoulder blades in towards your spine, like you're rolling your shoulder blades onto your back. That's a cue that you like to use. And extend up and out from left armpit through your left palm. Take a full breath. And empty your air. Warrior two in your upper body, your low body stays grounded. And simply bring both legs forward and adjust your seat. I'm adjusting a lot because I'm in a hallway. Reach all the way up mountain. Just a little bit of flow, prayer hands to your heart. That was a little bit. Left side warrior two. So left leg forward, right foot out. And it's pretty much just a 90 degree angle. Warrior two, you ground in your feet when you're standing. So really push out through your heels and then push down through your butt bones. Angle your chest. You direct your eye gaze like either to the right side of your mat in your space or right over your left arm traditional. Reverse, right hand down, left arm up and back. Now your left one, really push it down. Even drive your left butt bone to the front of your mat as you reach your left arm to the back of your mat. Warrior two in your upper body. Side angle, left arm down and right arm up. Just let your left hand rest on the floor, your mat. Perhaps your eye gaze at your left hand, eye gaze to the right side, or eye gaze up, your drishti, your point of focus to your right hand. And then roll your shoulder blades onto your back so you keep a broadness from one shoulder to your other shoulder. Take a full breath. Do nothing, just stay. Do that one more time in. And then all your breath out. Use your belly strength. Lift up warrior two in your upper body. Both feet forward. Adjust your butt. That little tiny reach up. And prayer hands to your heart. Breathe out. Come on to your hands and your knees back to the four post position. Walk your hands towards your knees and lift your chest all the way up. So modified crescent lunge, extend your right leg forward. If you have a prop, go ahead and bring it into your space right now. You're gonna plant it pretty far away from your right foot, so like right on the edge, the left edge of the mat. Let's go goal post arms. Take a full, full in breath. Push into what's touching your mat. Breathe in and suction your belly in. With your exhale, hands to prayer. Left hand to the block and right arm up. So it's a pretty wide twist. Be mindful that your knee doesn't go way out to the right. It doesn't go way out to the center. So it stays driven right over your right shin, your ankle and your, your heel. And just turn your gaze, look to the right side so your body follows. And then just steer your left collarbone right underneath your right collarbone. Then again, shoulder blades pull in together to pull, push your sternum forward and out. Inhale, both arms all the way up, full crescent moon. You'll take your right hand to the block right next to your arch, and then left arm up for that open face twist. Two breaths to open to the left. 
And just be mindful of what sensations are happening in your left leg. Back off as needed to take care always. Inhale, reach all the way up, let your chest face forward. Link your thumbs at little butterfly hands, crescent moon, two breaths go up and back. If your body allows, really deepen the lunge pelvis forward. This will allow the back bend to open up more for you. Inhale brings you to neutral, head right above shoulders, shoulders above hips, prayer hands. And right knee down to meet your left knee, sink into hero pose. Tuck toes or untuck toes. Take a full breath in. Through your mouth, breathe out. Inhale, lift your seat up, left foot forward for the crescent lunge variation. Move your prop over to the very right edge of your mat, either like medium height or the flat side. I find to be nice, reach all the way up, breathe in. Goal post arms, breathe out, stay. Suction your belly in, really hollow it. Prayer hands for the exhale. Twist right hand to the block or prop, left arm up. Eye gaze checks in with your left knee, and then eye gaze to the left or up to help to turn your body. And pull the crown of your head away from your belly button, and then really hollow out your belly once more. Inhale, lifts you all the way up to the center. Open face twist, left hand down, right next to your arch and right arm up. Option for the block to be moved and placed there. Sometimes that allows it to be a little bit easier in the body. And make sure your shoulders are going out and away from each other versus like pulling inwards. Take a full, full breath. Okay, twist it out. Crescent moon, inhale, reach all the way up. Hook your thumbs and go up and back for the crescent moon in its fuller expression. Again, the more you drive your pelvis forward and down, the tendency is that the more opening you'll get in the um, back bend action. Inhale all the way up and exhale your left knee down and sink in to your heels, hero pose. Take a breath and empty your air. Come to your hands and your knees. Go to downward facing dog. Just do one or two downward facing dogs in this practice. So just get a sense, your head, this is your inversion right here in this way. Head lower than your heart and hips higher than your heart. Re-allow your body to learn the shape. Press down through your index finger and your thumb, like 70% of your weight. Drive your chest to your legs and your thighs up and back behind you. Get super, super stretchy. One more in breath. Breathe out little baby steps. Walk your feet forward. Bend your knees, hands on your hips and come all the way up to stand. And reach your arms all the way up mountain. And hands to prayer. We'll do two standing poses today. We'll start with standing leg raise, right leg lift. So your left leg, uh, we won't be here very long, but this is your left leg that you've had work on. So just see what shows up. Make sure you do that. Give that little gentle bend in your left knee, like out to the right. Arms can go wide, or hands can stay as you desire them to be. Knee to the front, and then right foot down. Left leg up, standing leg raise. So it's a little quality in how you're doing these shapes. Leg to the left, notice what happens in your body. Again, always option for your arms to go wide or place them as you desire them. Knee to the front and then left foot down. Staying with standing leg raise one more time. So if you have a prop, 
have it ready just on its tall setting for a modified airplane. So right leg up, standing leg raise. Reach your arms forward like you're giving someone a book. And then your fingers to the block, right leg back, modified airplane. Leg gaze stays down. Really extend out through your right heel and squeeze up on both butt cheeks. Take a full, full in breath. Right foot down, fold forward. You'll sway your torso a bit side to side. And push through your feet, hands to your hips, lift your chest all the way up. Reach all the way up fully, mountain. Prayer hands to your heart. Standing leg raise, left leg lifts. Reach your arms forward like you're offering someone a book. Modified airplane. Hands to the block or blocks. Left leg back. Again, gentle micro bend in your right knee. Strong push out through your left heel. Belly is hugged up and in. Breath deep. Take a big, big in breath. Fold forward and breathe out. Sway your trunk side to side. Hands to your hips. Push your feet down. Lift your chest up. Breathe in. Continue the breath in as your arms rise mountain. Prayer hands to your heart. So try this on. Use your belly muscles to lift your leg up for a tree. So prayer hands remain. Be okay with wherever your right foot goes on your left leg. Vrikasana. Lace your fingers, push your palms forward, and then extend your arms all the way up. Take a full breath. And stay, just meditate right here in the stillness. Big, slow in breath. As you exhale, prayer hands to your heart and right foot down on the mat. Stay for an in and an out. Use your core, left leg up, tree pose, Rikasana. Lace your finger, switch it by finger. Push your palms forward. Drive your arms up and right beside your ears, like to the back of your ears, so they're out of your eye gaze in the periphery. Could you get even taller since you're on your right leg, which is Maybe the more stable leg for you. Take a full, full breath and expand through your ribs. Stay. One more in breath. Could you get a little bit longer? With your exhale, hands to prayer and left foot to the floor. One last mountain. Reach all the way up. And fold all the way down. Take a breath. Downward facing dog, step your legs back. So two of two down dogs. Breathe in deep. Root into your mat, breathe out. One more in. All your breath out at the end of the exhale. Knees to the floor, four posts. Walk your hands towards your knees and lift your chest all the way up. And then sink your seat to your heels, hero pose. Have a prop ready. We'll come into supported bridge. So lay all the way back. I'm not going to change view since I'm in the hallway today. But block on its mid setting if able for you in supported bridge. So start with the back of your head, upper arm, shoulder blades, all the way through the back of your hands and pelvis to be heavy. And then go ahead and use your feet, really push your feet down. Can you get a sense of pinky toe, fourth toe, third toe, second toe, and then your big toe pad. Get a sense of the outer rims of your feet, the pinky edges. 
and a sense of the inner rims of your feet, the arch edges. And then stamp the ball mound of both feet down. And then stamp and anchor the very center of your heels down. Take three deep breaths. Keep the action of your feet strong. more round of breath. Remove your block. Lay your back all the way down. Take your feet wider on your mat and knock knee your knees to touch. So lie in release pose. Let your eye gaze just look directly above your face. Check in with the victorious Ujjayi breath. Now, Sukta Bada Konasana, soles of your feet together, knees out wide. Interlace your hands behind your head. Push your head into your clasp fingers. Lift your shoulder blades up and pin your belly down to the floor. Ten crunches upwards. Ten. Nine, so again, it's quality over quantity. Eight, seven, you can do them on exhales. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Unclasp your fingers, lay your head down, bring your feet to the floor, your knees touch. Supported reclined pigeon. Right ankle past your left knee. Flex your right foot. And stay like this for just a couple of breaths with your left foot being supported by the earth. The opening happening in your outer right hip. You'll extend your left leg all the way up to the ceiling, so it's straight and strong. Hands right behind your left hamstring. Pull your left leg towards you and push your right leg forward slightly. Breathe. Like notice where your body is wanting to move in to the shape. Notice where your body may be resisting the shape. Notice where your head kind of followed, like what happens in your head when things uh, happen in your body? Where is there like a disconnect and where is there an alignment? You'll bend your left knee. You're gonna cross at the ankle. Think like, um, like a pretzel from a bag, like a roll of gold pretzel. Right ankle past your left. Palm stays up to the ceiling, and then you'll grab your feet and you'll pull your like your thighs towards your outer ribs and extend your tailbone to the front of the mat. So with your palms up, you keep your shoulder blades anchored down on the floor and an opening in the top of your chest. This can be nice to stretch the butt muscles in a very gentle way and continue to stretch the hips in a very um, it almost, it's not passive, but almost passive way. Take two more breaths. Place your feet on the floor. Feet touch, shins touch, thighs touch, knees touch. Let your hands rest. Take a breath in and out. Just let this be your neutral position. Recline pigeon. Left ankle past your right knee, right foot stays, and flex your left foot. Reestablish your eye gaze right above your head. Reconnect to the power of your breath. Take 
Can you get a sense of your body um, like relaxing even, even while it's having some work occur, but the relaxing that kind of unfolds alongside of it. Almost like you're reading a great mystery novel or you're watching a great like suspenseful movie. And as all this action is happening, but you're seeing things unfold and you're just like so curious, what's going to happen next? And so it's like being curious with your body. I wonder what I'm going to feel next as I keep altering these shapes and trying things on. Okay, extend your right leg all the way up to the sky, the ceiling, that hands right behind your right hamstring, gentle guide of your right leg toward you and your left leg away from you. It's very subtle. At least for my body, it's very subtle. And then mindful because this is your left side and there's a lot of creases that are happening in the lymph area of the body. Now just like a breath and a half or so, we'll go into that little pretzel shape. So your left ankle crosses past your right. Again, it's palms up, forearms up, eye of elbows up. Make sure your heels come close to your seat and then grab a hold of your pinky edges of your feet. Pull your knees out wide. And pull your feet down towards your um, basically hamstring area. You want to have enough room for your belly to rise and fall with your breath. And check in like is your Head still supported? Are your shoulder blades still heavy? Is your pelvis still heavy? Are you tensed up somewhere? One more full round of breath. Unwind your legs, place your feet on the floor. Touch, shins, touch, knees, touch, inner thighs, touch. Re-grab your prop, legs up the wall. So lift your seat, flat side of your lock down. Place it ready and extend both of your legs up. And just let them be relaxed right here. Maybe you adjust and actually let your legs be on a wall surface. Uh, let your palms be facing upwards. Fingers just a natural kind of slight curl. The palms of your hands hollowed. Let your eyeballs be heavy. Let your ears be heavy to the earth. Your cheeks and your jaw heavy. Tongue in your mouth, just rest at the bottom of your mouth. Do some ankle circles one way. And then do ankle circles the other way. Flex your feet. And point your feet. And flex your feet. And then point your feet like you're perching over that tiny branch. Neutral feet. Bend your knees, feet on the floor. Remove your prop. With your seat lifted, place your hands underneath your bum for fish. Extend your legs long. Feet flexed for more length than low back or pointed for more opening. Press into your elbows, puff your chest up, and then lay the back of your head down. Three full breaths. One more breath. Very slowly, untuck your head, remove your hands last. Stretch your legs out in front of you, stretch your arms back behind you, take a full, full body stretch. 
and let your arms rest beside you. Let your feet fall out wide. Go ahead and close your eyes down. Let go of Ujjayi. Let your body escape into some stillness. Let your body, let your head, and let your heart receive some quietness. Entire head relaxed, your facial features soft, without any tension or clench action. Restoring of your upper chest all the way down to your elbows, your forearms, your wrist, and both of your hands. your mid chest, a slight subtle movement as your breath occurs in your body and your heart beats softly. Your belly be soft, uninhibited. Pelvis be heavy. Notice the extension from your pelvis of your thigh bones to your knees and your kneecaps. Check out your right leg. Check out your upper left leg. And check both of your low legs out from kneecaps to ankles, your shins, your calves. Isolate your tension to your right shin. Now your left shin. Both ankles, both heels. Funnel your attention to your right ankle and heel. Direct your attention to your left ankle and heel. Both feet slightly falling away from one another. Pin your attention to your entire right foot, the top of your foot, the sole of your foot, your toes, the space between your right toes. And direct your attention now to your left foot, the top of your left foot, the bottom of your left foot each of your left toes and the space between your left toes. Roll over now to the right side of your body. Let your knees come in towards your chest. Get your right arm. You like a pillow for your head. Use your left hand, press it down into the floor to lift your chest all the way up. You come to seated, cross your legs in front of you. Prayer hands right in front of your heart, eyes closed down. Bow your head down towards your prayer hands. Take a moment and acknowledge yourself. Acknowledge yourself the being that you are, for the body that you get to live in today. Acknowledge your mind and all your thoughts and all your emotions, whether you like them or you don't like them. And acknowledge the analogy of the heart, like the spirit inside of you. And lift your head up, thumb knuckles, Touch the center of your forehead, you touch in. With gratitude for all things, humility for all things, for grace and forgiveness, and for effort and energy, draw a full breath in. Namaste. 
Thank you so much. Have a really, really beautiful day. I hope that that felt good in your body. Obviously way different than our first practice together. Um, and every day is different. Every practice is different. And every day we show up differently. So, you know, the goal is to work for the balance um, from the imbalances that we have. Have a great one. Love you. Bye. You know what, it's really hard to find.